All right, so another quick video that we're going to do here. Um, this one, we're basically going to do a uh, background for Google App Inventor. Um, so we're going to bring up our Photoshop. Uh, I'm just going to change this color because I accidentally changed it before I started my last video. Um, basically, we're going to start a new project. My pixels are already in there. Um, I had something on my clipboard, so it automatically put it in there. Basically, you're going to make sure it's 322 by 434, um, and those are pixels. Uh, bring that up. The reason why we're using that resolution is because if you actually go into the Google App Inventor here, um, I've started a new project that we're, we're just going to throw a background onto. Um, that's the actual size of this screen here. Um, it's better to make them a bigger resolution, but it works out pretty well for the App Inventor. Um, you know, it, you don't really have to get too in-depth with it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw together um, just a cool little effect on an image. Uh, we'll take the gradient here and we will drag that across. Um, a lot of my website and everything like that is done with um, this black and gray color, so that's why we're going to be a little boring with it. But uh, we're just going to select here after we do the gradient, open up a new layer, and we're going to go to Filter, Render, and then clouds. Um, now you're going to say to me, why are you going to use a corny little thing like that? But the reason is, is because it actually gives us a pretty cool effect on the image um, that once we bring it down to 20% here. Uh, and you'll notice that you really can't tell it's clouds. You really can't tell it's a, uh, a gradient. Um, but it still has that gradient effect where you got the darker color up top, you got the uh, lighter color down below, and it gives it a little bit of a... Um, you know, better a better flow with the image, uh, and it, I think it goes well with with my personal website. So you know, that's what I'm making this background for. So that's what we're going to use it for. Uh, you can throw anything on here as far as like um, a logo. Uh, I got a few that I've done, um, but since we're doing it for one eight left, um, I'm going to grab one of the one eight left uh, logos here. So um, it's going to be a pretty big logo and. I'm pretty obsessed with using the free transform, so that's what I'm going to do to just transform it down. Uh, I think where I'm going to like it is up in this top corner here. And uh, that looks good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some blending options onto this because I can't see the one eight left there. Um, I hate the fact that they have this defaulted to this ugly yellow color. So we're just going to do something about that real quick. And let's kind of get that. Drop shadow isn't going to do much for us with these colors here. Um, but also, if I didn't want the effects, I could actually put this all the way down below. And I, and since I've got that lighter color, it's going to come out a little bit. So, you know, just, just for this background and, and the reason that I <laughs> didn't choose that logo before I started this video, uh, we're going to throw this at the bottom for right now because it actually looks pretty good down there. And, um, you know, we can just design our app around, you know, the way that our background sets up. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here. We're going to save it. Um, as a PNG, uh, just so we get that better quality of a photo. Uh, so we'll call it um, 1 8 left background. And save that. Um, and then what we're going to do is bring up the Google App Inventor here. Uh, we'll just go to background image, we'll add one, choose file. And we'll grab that graphics folder that we had. Um, go to the O's. There's my background image. Open it up. OK it. And there you go. You've got a pretty cool background. And you can start building your app around that and uh, putting all your content in there. Hope you liked that video. It's under five minutes. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.